What's up guys welcome back to yet another video in this video we'll be doing a side by side comparison of oxygen os 11 with that of color os 11 yesterday i made a video on the features of color os if you guys wanted to check out the best features of color os 11 then make sure to check that video out so here you can see towards the left hand side i have my one plus nine and towards the right hand side i have my one plus eight on which i'm running color os 11 if you guys also want to install color os 11 on your one plus eight eight pro and 80 then you can also find a video guide in the description below first here you can take a look at the software information of both the device oneplus 9 is running the latest stable build of oxygen os which is oxygen os 11.2.8.8 and right hand side that is oneplus 8 which is running on the color os 11 and this haven't received any kind of ota updates color os is in software which comes with lots of customization options and there are lots of ui changes too and now let's take a look at difference in ui of oxygen os and color os first let's start with the home screen both os comes with different launchers but on color os i like this blurry effect whenever you scroll down the notification panel and that's not to be seen on oxygen os 11 i know this would be a personal preference but i do like the blur effect while scrolling down the notification panel and the next change which i like on color os is related to the power menu here you can take a look at both the power menu options on my oneplus 9 if i press the power menu i get the options on the top and that's a bit difficult to reach but on color os as you can see here soon you press the power key with the same finger you can power off your device or you can restart and you also get to see the color codes like for restart we have this greenish color and to power off we get this red color after that also talking about the notification panel or quick setting panel here also you'll see lots of different and i do like the quick setting panel on color os because of its one hand reachability with a single hand i can access everything from top to bottom but that's not the case on oxygen os 11 though oxygen os 11 was also meant for one hand usage but it still lacks in some cases brightness slider is a bit thick on color os and that's what even i don't like but the volume panel on color os is a bit slimmer than oxygen os swiping towards the right hand side oxygen os comes with two options one is google feed and one plus shell but that's not the case on color os right now this color os it was not meant for global units so we have the option of brino feed hopefully in future when we get color os global builds or indian builds we might get to see google feed while swiping towards the right hand side and the next ui change is with related to screenshot ui and i do like the ui on color os so as soon as you click the screenshot swiping towards the bottom side you'll get an option to take a expanded screenshot and swiping on the top corner will give you an option to share and once again the screenshot ui is quite compact but on oxygen os if you take a screenshot you can see the screenshot is too big and you have to long press on this to get the options of sharing the screenshot alert slider ui remains same on both the os and now talking about the screen recording feature on both the devices screen recording feature which is available on color os is way better you also have tons of options to customize the screen recording and the best part is you can also record your face cam using front camera which isn't available on oxygen os gallery application on color os also seems to be way better so this is the gallery app available on oxygen os and towards the right hand side that's on color os on the right top corner you get to search the photos on the basis of time place and people and the gallery on color os is well optimized we don't get to see any kind of delays in the loading speed of photos and now let's move on to the settings panel and here is the setting panel on both the os though here i like the settings panel of oxygen os which is quite handy and can be used with one hand but that's not the case on color os on color os you need to move your hand grip to use the entire settings panel Talking about status bar on both the OS, the status bar is way better on color OS, which has a complete section above the quick setting panels. On oxygen OS, you can see things like Wi-Fi connection, SIM card, device status are to be seen in the quick setting panel itself. And here, these things are completely separated from the quick setting panel. And now inside the settings panel itself, you'll see lots of difference. On color OS, the settings panel have been designed pretty well and you don't get to see any kind of information below subsections. But on Oxygen OS, here you can see, if you take an example like Wi-Fi and network connection, under this you have a subsection which gives you options like what all stuff is available in this particular settings panel. Then you guys gonna see a major difference in the personalization section, which is also called as customization section on Oxygen OS, which comes with some limited customization options but on color OS, you'll get to see tons of customization options. 
and to check out all the customizations you can check out our featured video of color os where i have mentioned almost everything related to personalization or customization and the last ui change is between the about section of both the os so here you can see on oxygen os we also get to see the device image but that's not the case on color os you'll only get to see basic stuff of your device and here i do feel about section is better on oxygen os so guys this was a quick video on the changes between color os and oxygen os you guys let me know in the comment section below according to you which all things should be implemented on oxygen os when it's completely merged with color os as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day